we're currently exploring Vancouver Island, tackling the list Wayne set up for us back in Vancouver. Last time we ticked off a few items and also had a few fails. In this episode we set off on an unofficial hike to uncover something truly unique as we continue our journey and see what else we can cross off the list. There's no way in hell I'm doing a surf lesson out there. Good morning. Half an hour to Tofino today, we'll go and have a look. Just gonna take a look at the beach and have a walk on the beach because that's another thing that Wayne's got on his little list here. Walk along Long Beach and this happens to be Long Beach, so there we go. So how amazing is this? Look, there's nobody even on this beach. It's just us and maybe a couple of others. Wow. And this beach is actually part of Can Canadian National Parks. So I think we bought our National Parks Pass yearly one when we were in Banff. We're going to put our feet in the Pacific Ocean, which would be the directly opposite side to New Zealand. And if you look really hard, if you go on a straight line that way, you'll come to New Zealand. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I was gonna do a surf lesson. There's no way in hell I'm doing a surf lesson out there. On our trip, that's the second ocean. We oh. put them in the Arctic Ocean, now in the Pacific. And you know what? The Arctic Ocean was a damn sight warmer than this. <laughs> Seriously, it was. It's a really nice beach to walk on. The sand is very firm and the tides are way out as well. So we need to introduce a new member of the team. This is Billy. Sue bought him for us when we did the Cypress Hill. Thanks Sue. So Billy is gonna sit up here and keep Kevin, our Kiwi company. We'll stick him up there. You go, how's that Billy? If you feel like it, we can turn you that way. You can look out, see where we're going. We'll just sit there. Yeah. Now we've got Billy and Kevin. Thanks, Sue. Now we're heading into the town of Tofino. I'm not sure if I'm just imagining things, but does Kevin, do you think Kevin looks a bit peeved with Billy being up here with him? I think he, he liked having quite a place all to himself. It might just be my imagination. Just coming into Tofino, free parking on the main street, little surf town. We've got to try and find the free parking, otherwise we pay $3 an hour. I bet we found a spot. I don't know where the best part of it is, but we'll just take a walk. We've got an hour. There's a lot of colors. I don't know where to go. See a lot of colors. Only feeling blue. See that roof over there with the grass on it? Just need some goats to make my day. Lost within a haze. Don't rely on others to get you through the maze. So we're just taking a walk to Tonkin Park. Seems the same for me. Standing by. What is this thing? We saw one earlier. It, it looks like a snake, like it's a big tail and like a snake head, but I don't know if it's a snake or whether it's off the trees. Wow, it's like our own private little beach. How beautiful is this? There are a lot of voices drowning in the sea. So I think this walk it just ducks in and out of the little beaches along the way. I didn't bring the map, so I don't really know. There are a lot of choices. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling not too many people come this way. It's very overgrown. I think there might be bugs, bitey things in here too. Making me afraid. These big trees. We. I really just want to have a rest from walking up those steps. This looks like some kind of freaky dinosaur limb. Look at that. <laughs> Taking a little offshoot to look at a view. And hopefully there's no bears. We'll make lots of noise. Yak, 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 yak. 
So we're now just taking a walk down to Third Beach, which is down this way somewhere. I don't think you can drive to these beaches, which makes them kind of special. They're not so busy. There's some octopuses down here. And our orange thing. We don't know what the orange thing is. These are freaky. This is how she acts when she's not on camera. So we're just coming down to Middle Beach now. The final beach we're going to walk to today. Couldn't get a better day for it, eh? It took us 52 minutes to walk to here. That's stopping and checking out all the beaches on the way, stopping and taking photos. Looks like there's a person on this log over here sitting, but it looks like a ghost person. Anyway, we're gonna go and have a look and see if it is a person or what it is. You go check it out first, Mike. I'm a bit scared. like a woman holding a baby or something it's creepy now we just gotta walk back and all my energy sapped and we didn't bring a snack which is a bit dumb and we're back so I highly recommend this walk if you come here to Oakland Park definitely an awesome walk and we found the morning people are more friendly than the afternoon people just to put a chuck that in so we're just gonna go find a walk that they don't tell you about it's an un, what they call an unsanctioned walk what does that mean Mike it's not sanctioned by a national park as a walk because they make some liable yeah so we're gonna do that <laughs> so anyway come along we'll, we'll tell you more about it when we get there so as I said earlier we're going on a walk no markings and stuff so we're gonna be careful not to get lost and there's a bear in the area oh god thought it was a bear <laughs> So we were reading the blurb on this walk and apparently it's quite common for people to get lost and need to be rescued. Got me a little bit worried. So we grabbed our Garmin inReach and what, what do you know, it's flat. Got my uh, power bank to charge it with, what do you know, it's flat. Everything's a little bit against us. If we feel a little bit unsure, we'll just make sure we maybe drop some little breadcrumbs or something on the way. Track the bears. <laughs> okay, it was already said there's a bear in the area, so. It's because we lost the car the other day in a town. Neither of us have the best sense of direction. Found the little turn off into the bushes here. He's downloaded the All Trails app. We're using that to navigate. So far, it's a nice little trail. Apparently, it gets very boggy. I think I might put my jumper on in case I. Like, but... Spooky already. Spooky trees. So, here's the first thing to see on the, tr the walk the spooky old building. Pretty creepy. Oh man, look at this. How freaky is this? You know what would make this building the best building ever? Goats on the roof. That would be what would make, make it the best building ever. Just watch them roots. Oh, it's gone a bit crazy since he's been going out with me. He's now singing about roots. It's like we're running in circles. So far, so good. It's all downhill. You know what that means when it's all downhill and it's a one way road. Uphill all the way back. This is on top of our two hour walk this morning. They've got some little um, ribbons. There's a helicopter flying over, but 
Might be a bit loud, but they have some ribbons. So you're on the right way or the wrong way, one or the other. I'm assuming it's the right way. If it, it might have been muddy once, but they've got all these logs down. How cool is this? Yeah, so it may get muddy yet. We don't know, but we'll find out. Okay, I'm very glad these planks of water here. I would not want to be squishing, scotching through that mud. In fact, if I had to scotch that mud, I probably would have just turned around and gone back because I'm a fair weather hiker like that. This walk, we're going to go see something very unique and it's not a waterfall. For an unmaintained track, this is pretty good so far. I think we've got probably about another kilometer to go before we can reveal what we're gonna look at. Are we part of this, circuit? this is so funny how they say this is a, not a maintained track. In New Zealand, this would be an amazing track. And imagine slushing through this. Yeah, but look. You just see the, this, I haven't said what we're coming to see yet. This is what we're coming to see. You have a look in there, there's a plane crash. Don't worry, nobody died there. Hidden in the bushes there. Oh, that looks really eerie. Oh, and these are a bit dodge. Oh, and it might be a bit tricky getting up there. Look at this. Plane wreckage just down here. This is incredible. So this plane landed here, 12 passengers on board and the captain all survived. They landed into this hill. It's incredible. It's back in 1945. I mean, how terrifying. They, they would have thought they were all goners. I mean, they're probably all dead now. It was a bomber plane and it had some unexploded bombs here. Instead of lifting them out, they just exploded them. And there's some craters here somewhere. You can see the craters. I don't know where the craters are. There's be some perfectly circular pools where the, they detonated the bomb. Look at this. There's just little bits of plane wreckage all over the place. And it's all just, you know, stayed where it, where it was, where it crashed. And no one died. That's the good thing about it. Mic up there, mic wave. When we stopped at the visitor centre and asked about doing this hike, the guy goes, oh, that's an unsanctioned track. We're not allowed to tell you about that. And he says, well, I'm not supposed to do this, but I'll give you this. And he goes behind the counter and he gets a little booklet out and it actually shows you exact directions on how to get here. But we had all trials, we didn't actually need it. But it was, it was quite a bit of useful information. It's quite funny, wasn't it, Mike? The moment the visitor centre, I'll show you this, okay. but I'm not going to show you this walk. <laughs> Pretty much. So we had a two hour walk this morning, an hour and a half on the way back so far, and we've still got another two k's to go. So we're looking probably another two hour walk today on top of our other two hour walk. For four hours, Joe. Yeah, that's four hours, Mike says. <laughs> so we're just back from our walk. It was a really good walk. Now we've just got to go find some bit of camp tonight. I think we're probably just going to go back to the surf shop where we camped at last night. And then we can, look at my hair. And now we're going to treat ourselves to a stroop waffle that we bought the other day from the Dutch shop. Good. Now go away. This morning I let Jo out by herself from where we stayed last night. I think it's a bit silly of me really, because when she came back she said, I've bought myself a surf lesson. I should never let her go out by herself. 
So I'm just about to tick another thing off the list that Wayne gave us, surf. So come along, it'll be maybe fun, maybe not. Best job, get suited up. Suit, booties, hat, gloves. <laughs> I wanted the works because it was so cold yesterday. We're heading back down to Long Beach. I'm the only one in the group, so effectively I've paid for a group lesson, but I'm having a private lesson. So the first thing for the surf lesson, is how do you get the suit on? It's sandy, it's a lot of sand. It's still wet. Maybe I should have tried it on before I came. <laughs> 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 Photograph, you're struggling. <laughs> That's it there, like that. You got it. I've you got a better right here. This is uh, an easier way to do it. Zach was my instructor and a genuinely nice guy. We started on land where he showed me the basics of getting up on the board. A couple of tries later, it was time to put the theory into practice. On my first wave, I completely forgot to catch it. But on the second, I was up on both feet actually surfing. I thought, this is too easy. Well, that confidence didn't last long. What followed was a string of wipeouts and I realized just how challenging this really was. tough time getting my feet under me and the booties I was wearing felt clunky so I ditched them and gave it another shot this time success turns out surfing is way harder than I'd imagined after four months of van life with no real exercise beyond walking my arms felt like lead after an hour and a half in the water by the end, they were so fatigued that a few times I just laid on the board, riding the wave on my belly. And I even managed to fail at doing that. So how was that then, Jo? I'm exhausted. Absolutely, it was awesome, but I'm exhausted. Stick around for the next episode, where we go off the beaten path in search of hidden gems on Vancouver Island. <laughs>